the parents and families of the victims in the 2021 Oxford school shooting are trying to prove school employees were negligent before the shooting. Those families have lost their case in the Michigan Court of Appeals. They will now appeal to the state Supreme Court. The shooting left four teenagers dead, 17-year-old Madison Baldwin, 16-year-old Tate Muir, 14-year-old Hannah St. Juliana were all killed at the scene, and 17-year-old Justin Schilling died later at the hospital. Seven more were injured that day. I've spoken with the victims' families over the last few months who say this trauma of the tragedy has stayed with them. I've held them partially responsible for my son's death since day one. Uh, once I learned about the math assignment and you know the fact that uh, they didn't take him out of, the, of school, um, they didn't get him any help, um, it, it was really a sad, a very sad situation on top of an already devastating situation. The perpetrator, 15-year-old Ethan Crumbly, who had previously sketched a gun, a bullet, and a wounded man on a piece of schoolwork, a piece of paper with several disturbing phrases, had met with the school and his parents about his behavior. Crumbly's parents, Jennifer and James Crumbly, took Ethan's shooting as a pastime, even bought him the gun. Ethan's parents are the first ever parents charged and convicted for a mass shooting their child perpetrated. He's still strong today. I mean, he wants to work through this, but now it is, it's part of his life, um, and that life will never be the same. Ben Johnson, law and expert trial attorney, represents some of these parents, these families, and they blame the school for what happened. He's here to talk about this next move in the court system. Uh, thank you for your time. This is another heartbreaking setback mm -hmm. for these families. What was behind the 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 ruling in this case uh, to not go after uh, the school district? Marty, the Michigan Court of Appeals agreed with trial judge that threw our case out of court and said uh, that my clients don't even get their day in court to try to prove that somebody else other than the shooter could be under Michigan law and governmental immunity, the proximate cause of this shooting. And uh, we believe that the Court of Appeals got it wrong. They ruled that no reasonable juror could ever come up with or believe anything different based on this evidence. And that's why we believe uh, we have the right to a jury trial. So we're going to go to the Michigan Supreme Court. We're going to ask the Michigan Supreme Court to throw out governmental immunity where the government uh, is above the law and they say they can't be held responsible when they're responsible for your child's injury or death. We think that's wrong. And we think under these facts, this case should go to a jury. Based on the evidence uh, that, that we now know about this tragic case that day and the days and even weeks leading up to it, what is the most damning and, and what could and should the school district have done in your eyes? So much. So, and the, their own internal investigation done two years later, Guidepost specifically found the school accountable and said that they made multiple mistakes that they should have prevented this shooting from occurring. It goes from ignoring a risk assessment sheet where this uh, the shooter was identified with a score like a 30 or 31 when normal is like 15. He was high risk and the, uh, they claim that they never even looked at that. That was done earlier in the school year. On day one of the school year, he had, a, a you know about Marnie, the uh, math test where he wrote, uh, uh, drew the picture of the gun and, and so forth. He had done almost an identical picture on the first day of that same same school year that was never passed along to uh, administrators until the day before the shooting on that Monday. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.